Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alec Garza. Thank you for clicking on this video and hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Tenet, the latest Christopher Nolan film and the latest film to be released in theaters and hopefully save movie theaters in this crazy pandemic we've been going through all 2020 almost, it feels like. Can we just cancel 2020? Uh, before I begin this review, I just want to give credit to Chadwick Boseman and pay my respects. He was a phenomenal actor and an even more phenomenal person uh, dealing with what he was dealing with for the past four years, keeping it private, but still showing up, still doing his part, more than his part, just helping out the world, visiting uh, kids with cancer to support them, uh, do donating to charities, uh, doing films that you know inspire people continuing to play Black Panther even with uh, the illness that he was facing uh, just a tremendous person and um, Just deserves all the credit and respect uh, one can give another person. So um, Rest in peace rest in paradise King to Chadwick Boseman now Tenet is the latest film by Christopher Nolan and is a spy espionage film first and foremost with some time bending thrown in there just to spice it up even more. But what is Tenet about? The trailers don't give you a whole bunch of info. So let me just give you a quick breakdown of what the story is about. And it starts with the protagonist, which is played by John David Washington. He is a spy who, through a test, proves to the CIA, proves to his spy organization that he won't snitch, that he is in it to win it, he's loyal. So they give him the code word Tenet. They bring him in on this Tenet operation which basically is all about the time bending, time inversion. Basically in the future, <laughs> bear with me, in the future, there are people who are able to create bullets that are inversed. They're able to make objects that are inversed through some algorithm. And basically what inversed means is if I drop a bullet into my hand, the bullet is programmed to be inversed to where it reacts to things inversely. So if the bullet is here, I can pick it up. I have to act like I dropped it. It's really hard to explain and the movie tries its best to explain it and I mean you kind of just get it. You don't really question it. You, you kind of, well you do question it but you kind of just go with the flow because it doesn't really make that much sense but like in time it just gets normal and so it kind of makes more sense if that makes sense. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to explain. But basically the tenant organization wants him to figure out where are these bullets coming from, who's supplying them, and how do we stop them and what do they want. So that's basically the main premise. And so he goes to character to character, lead to lead, just keeps going to the next lead, to the next lead, to the next locale, to the next person to figure out where is this all coming from? And on his journey, he's held by Robert Pattinson, who I loved him in this film. He did such a great job. Big Robert Pattinson fan here. I think he did a great job as a side character in fleshing out the story and making it a little bit more interesting. But John David Washington, for sure, really held the film well. I think when you first see him, you're just like, oh, who's this guy? You know, is this Denzel's son? But as the movie progresses, you, they wrote him in a way that shows off his charisma and shows off his confidence and shows off his humor and all these levels to his character and to the actor as well are portrayed very well in this film with the script. Now, one issue with that character though is that he's straight up just a spy. Like there's no family with him. There's no wife he has. There's nothing about him that kind of makes him like, who is this guy, you know? He's kind of a mystery the whole film and he's a spy. So I think I'm okay with that in a spy film. In other movies, I wouldn't really like that. I would like to know more about my characters, but because it is a spy film, you're not really supposed to know a lot about these spies. That's like the whole intriguing part. It's like the monster. You don't know where the monster comes from. You don't know that much, you know, but that's intriguing. So that's why I feel about John David Washington's character and all the spies in the movie. The villain is played by Kenneth Branagh and he's pretty good. I thought he was very scary in some scenes and very intense. And I think he just added a layer of just this shit is real to the movie and I like that. But overall, the real star of this movie is just Christopher Nolan doing Christopher Nolan things. The direction, the set pieces, the action, the everything, the story is just so epic and so cool. Like just cool. It oozes cool in every scene. When you see in one scene, one person moving backwards in time and the other person moving forwards in time, it's just like, what is going on? How do they even think of this? How do they film this? It's insane. They blow up a building in reverse or 
I don't even know what they did, but basically there's this big ass building and one explosion happens here and then it reforms at the top. The building reforms at the top and explodes again up there. And then this, it's, it's just insane. It's insane. You have to see it to believe it. And I think this movie definitely needs to be seen in theaters. It's, you're doing yourself a disservice if you wait till you see it at home because you need a big screen and loud audio. But speaking of audio, one of the issues I have with this film as well as other Christopher Nolan films is the dialogue is sometimes muted. It's sometimes not the loudest thing or it's got an accent associated with it that is really hard to understand. And I like it and I don't like it. I liked it because it made me want to watch the movie again because I was like, what did they say? You know, but I'm afraid even if I watch it again, I'm still not going to be able to hear that person what they're saying, what they're saying without subtitles because the the mixing is just not quite optimal in my eyes. And so there's sometimes people say things that you just don't understand. You, you just miss out. And then there's also scenes where they're talking and it's like backwards. It's like, whoa, what? How am I supposed to understand that too? So that's my biggest complaint about the film is just the audio mixing could be better but that issue will be resolved with subtitles um, or a repeated viewing and I think this movie does re require a repeated viewing I think it's worth it because there's so many twists in the movie that you're just like huh and you need to watch it again to really take it all in because it changes the entire context of the entire film uh, the twists are also the biggest star in this movie and I won't say anything, but that's all I'm gonna say there I, I, I love it if you like guessing during movies and figuring out what's gonna happen This is a perfect movie for that Tenet also features a really great score really heart-pounding scenes There's a couple scenes where we were me and my girlfriend were on the edge of our seats Just trying to like figure out who's gonna die. What's about to happen. Holy shit I felt the stakes were high in this movie Which is what you want in a spy film the action is great the acting is great and it, this is just Christopher Nolan at his best Best, in my opinion, I think this is one of his best films. I think this is an incredible achievement in filmmaking. The scenes he was able to put together and the direction he took with the entire film is just fantastic. It's just next level. He's one of the few actors in the game today who can just do whatever the hell he wants. And luckily he does amazing work. Luckily he wants to do amazing things and not settle. So I give this movie, just call me a shill. I give this movie a 4.5 out of five stars, nine out of 10. It is amazing. It is awesome. I want to see it again. Uh, it's a movie I want to talk about with people. It's a movie I want to talk about with it to my friends and other film fanatics. It's just insane. Like truly, after watching that film, I was like, during the film, I was like, this is fucking nuts. I'm like, babe, this is crazy. And she was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but she still enjoyed it. Even she was like kind of really confused. I was confused for sure. My girlfriend was really confused, but she was still enjoying it. So that shows you that Christopher Nolan has a way of moving a little too fast in his films, but never too fast to where we're mad or upset. Just fast enough to where we're like questioning, ooh, trying to fill in the gaps, fill in the missing pieces. And uh, that's really fun to do if you like movies like that. It's really fun for me. I like it. I can see other people not liking that, but it's Christopher Nolan. You know what you're getting when you go into a Christopher Nolan movie. Movie. So Tenet isn't all that complicated once you break down the premise, but going in we didn't know the premise So it was a lot more complicated, but yeah, that's my review for Tenet. Christopher Nolan is amazing One of my favorite directors. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go see it um, I'm super happy that it came out there. I'm super happy I was able to see it in Houston, Texas I cannot wait to see it again and watch it with another friend. We went to the movie theaters and there was really no one there So no worries about Corona. It was pretty chill but uh, that's all for me, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you can. That would be a big help. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash electric11. I play all kinds of games. So if you want to hang out with me there and talk video games or talk movies, I'm always there. I also have a Discord server. If you'd like to get in on that, please comment on this video, and I'll send you an invite. But that's it for now. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, and stay safe out there, and stay shocking. Cheers.